Over the past couple of days, we've seen some very hot weather across parts of Iberia, with temperatures reaching 43 degrees across southern Spain. Now, in the coming 24 hours, we're going to see those sorts of temperatures spread further northwards um, towards southern France, and eventually, um, quite hot temperatures will also reach parts of the UK. Um, a good way of visualising what's going on with our weather is by looking at the jet stream. So let's have a quick look and see what's, what's going on. So here you can see how the jet stream is digging south across the Atlantic towards the Azores and then back up again to, um, past the northwest of the UK. Now ahead of that we've got it, this brings southerly winds, bring, allowing the hot air across Spain to gradually move northwards towards the UK. On this chart you can see the purple and white area um, shows where the really hot air is and that gradually spreads north over the next 24 hours. And as you can see by um, midday tomorrow a lot of the, the pinks and the purples are spreading across parts of southern and central England. And with this we're likely to see temperatures widely reaching into the low 30s across parts of southern England tomorrow. In fact we may even see temperatures reaching 34, potentially even 35 Celsius mainly around the southeastern parts of England or potentially into the Midlands as well. There is a very small chance that we might nudge towards 36, but the record for July um, in southern England is 36 and a half, and it's unlikely that we're going to be reach that. So on Thursday, we're likely to see some slightly less hot conditions, with temperatures reaching the high 20s across parts of the south. By Friday, temperatures might start to increase again, potentially reaching 30 degrees across southern parts again. Um, but later in the evening on Friday, it does look as if we're going to see a band of showery, heavy and potentially thundery rain spreading northwards across the country, um, mainly Friday evening and overnight into Saturday. Now many people will be very happy to hear about this hot weather, but it can have a negative impact on some people's health. And so the Met Office has been advising medical professionals on how long the heat is likely to last. Now for any more information or a forecast for your region, please check the Met Office website.